Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another uh, tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model, analyze, and design a concrete column in the CSI call software. Uh, this is, looks like an introduction. So when you open the software, you will face with this page. It is about six items you can uh, design using wizard, which is the most, the most uh, fast method. And the second, you can uh, bring your uh, model it and design it concrete and redesign and see some uh, internal uh, behaviors such as uh, moving curvatures, uh, uh, interaction uh, curves, and so on. And also, uh, if you use before lower version of the CSI column, you can bring it and redesign with a new version. And the blank, you can uh, model uh any kind of column you want with different kind of shape with composite material as well and this is two is the most common usually uh concrete uh, uh column which is uh utilized in every mostly in every project so at least we have one two or um, even the entire column is circular or rectangle so I will use this one and the next tutorial we will consider uh, etaps, import from the etaps and other parts. So I'm using wizard and it's called creating a project and when you open you will see this one. So the first thing is you define the project properties so you can say column design. You can give column, des uh, column design and give a code. Uh, uh, at least uh, I'm gonna give this one C001. So that comes. And I give the engineer name and the company you want. And give some description, such as this column is the interior or exterior column. So I'm okay, and then you have to define the unit you want to use. The unit you can select ACI unit, uh, also. US unit. So I usually use ACI and the code which code you want. There is single Korean code, uh, Mexican code, uh, uh, Korean code, Hong Kong, China, and also Australian code, British code. So I will use uh, the ACI routine. Uh, it's called update. Yes, I'm going to update with this. And in the next, you should define the rebar. So uh, so I, you can consider in the entire rebar which we have D6 to D15. But in some specific you don't need too much, you can delete. Uh, so they, you don't need this one, so you can delete them. You can delete. In case if you want to add, just go to here and add another rebar. So they give the diameters and uh, uh, anything else. And also you can go to here, add, and you can use the uh, Canadian or uh, metric imperial as well. So now we define the, the rebar state is automatic and here is the strength reduction factor. Because when we use this uh, code, so automatically the strength reduction factor is given based, based on the ACI uh, 14. Uh, you can change if you want this the tension factor should be 1 or 0 0.8 so then you can uh, consider them, but otherwise it's uh, the giving automatically based on the code. If you want to uh, refer to this code, you should check it, and as well. And also some other things called the symbol number separate. How we should separate this one, and also some colors and anything else. Okay, now we finish them. So then the second one is I should give the name of the color. Here is one thing is uh, material properties. We also need to define the material properties. Let's see, this is concrete 14. You can add more concrete. And also uh, this concrete has modulus velocity of this and and uh, compressive strength is 25 megapascal based on the ACI. And here is the rebar you, we define it in this one. In case if you want to add another rebar, you can go to the uh, define and add more rebar as well. Now for the column, you can give column or co I'm going to see one. And here is called 
the strap type should be spiral so it's not a, a circle in case if it's circle we use a spiral and otherwise we use tied so now the uh, section is called uh, uh, rectangle so I'm going to give the width of this column is 400 and the height of this col uh, column is about 600 so the cover I want is 30 millimeter. Now here is the rebar configuration you can consider uh, by adding uh, manually rebar. So I'm going to use uh, D20 for the this four corner. And now it's called alongside. This is alongside. This is alongside. So one alongside is two. And I want to use 20. This way. And other alongside, this one is called 1. Just defining the number is. Now it's okay. Now it's called the minimum clear spacing. So the minimum clear spacing is become 25. So now it's when you close it. And we define the uh, rectangle section. And it's called okay or we can define the loading also here and also go there so in the loading we have one combination you can more combination so in the one combination i want this is 4000 i want 5000 megapascal ultimate action force and also 400 moments and for both side in the ux uy in direction x and direction y and also uh, in the bottom of the column, in the top of the column. Now, the second is called uh, the result part, which we want to see the capacity ratio of that column. So I'm going to review, and here giving us uh, not okay. So when we're using this one, the capacity ratio has reached to 100. So it should be less than one. So it means not okay. So what we're gonna do is, before we go to another part, we want to change the, the uh, structure size. So I'm going to here, instead of uh, 20, I'm going to use 30. Uh, do you remember in, in the there I removed some of them? So now I can, uh, now I just I have 25. So I should give more. This is 25, I'm going 25. And I want to increase this to four, four rebar. And also this one I want to increase to. Now the this one also should be 25, the corner. So I created this one and I'm going to okay. I want to see again the capacity ratio is still it said it's not okay. So what we're gonna do is we should change the cross section size. So the cross section size is going to 800 by uh, uh by hit 600 by 800 so now i'm going to back to okay and go to view and it said it's okay now so now you can go to check other things uh, list the detailed results which can give you detail of the the uh, moving the sum of moving the moment vector and the uh, actual using that combination 0.9 and so this is the other things with the maximum ratio is 0.8 which is quite economical cross section and also we can see the interaction curve moment curvature curve moment and uh, actual force curve and here is the created curve uh, so this column has this capacity this capacity and in case if you want to change the, the uh, <clears throat> this is the actual force and this is the maximum moment so it has a capacity of 1000 kilonewton meters and also have 7000 but our structure is 400 the ultimate is 4000 so it's 4000 4000 megapascal now uh, we can consider the exclude the, this factor and refresh and it will bring the changes 
and also uh, the number of uh, curves. Uh, we also can consider the moment that was the uh, ultimate and is the moment moment two uh, moment three uh, so this is the curve and it's technically uh, representing that uh, the concrete uh, the concrete capacities uh, uh, via moments and the moment two in this direction moment three in this direction and also the actual force and the last one is called generate report so we can create a report based on these uh, properties and we can see the giving uh, column and uh, slenderness is not considered the shape everything and the size uh, the total width the total height the area of the co concrete cross-section inertia moment the rebar and rebar ratio is cause one point uh, one point uh, six four percent so it's almost we uh, we have uh, we have we can have to uh, add about four percent and there's the concrete properties and the rebar properties and the combination and finally the design moment the moment bottom in the bottom and also moment in the top and the capacity ratio now you can uh, uh, based on these properties you can save or you can print this report uh, for your uh, uh, for your project so in this tutorial we have uh, modeled designed analyzed and designed a complete RC concrete so that in the next tutorial I will uh, import uh, a structure from ETAPS, which is already the analyzed, and we will take the loose from uh, from the ETAPS, and we will design the column in the CSI console. So, if you have any question, please put in the comment, and we will we will find some time to answer you. See you next time.